Mr. T3 himself, right? Ah. For the viewers that don't know this man, this is a Wookie Triple XL, the ah. man that does the Eve Tech reviews. So tell us, how did T3 start? Okay, so I was in direct marketing actually 12 years ago and well at Prime Media uh, with a couple of the subsidiary companies there. I worked in amongst four different companies and part, a big portion of what those companies did in conjunction with each other was actually stand builds. So like at MSI or a Predator stand or stuff, we would actually deliver that experience live to audiences. And I worked at places like Vodacom, Durban, July and Good Food and Wine Show and all of these sort of uh, major events around CT, ICC and the rest. And I really enjoyed it, like a lot. Um, and I wanted to get into it more, but my background at the time was very heavily technical. And then I got into sales and all the rest of it. And after a while, I just decided I don't like corporate very much. Um, it's sort of a bit too cutthroat for me. Uh, I wanted to do something that I could be soft-hearted, you know, and, and give back to the community. And then the idea of T3 came up uh, because of my presentation skills that I could probably run a tech channel because, you know, the, it's an in-demand information service. Uh, and at the time, especially, it was quite unsaturated in South Africa. The only major guys we had really um, was uh, we do tech and you have to stop, you know, at that point in time. There wasn't any, like, like huge YouTube presences and it seemed like UF Disciple was also going to go overseas. He was saying that he wanted to go uh, in that vein. So I thought, hey, there seems to be an opportunity here, an opening. And then uh, we just kind of took the life savings and instead of buying a house, we started a company. And here okay. we are. <laughs> okay, and so are you contracted to Eve Tech or is T3 contracted to Eve Tech? So T3 as a company is contracted to Eve Tech. Um, we have uh, partner companies in Accio Digital, partners like Crim, for instance, who's been brought in to you know, help us manage the Eve Sports portfolio and the rest of it. But so I, T3 as a company is contracted to Eve Tech and then obviously the personnel that, uh, that come with the company. Do the work. Uh, right. So much work. <laughs> so <laughs> the last two and a half years have been a lot of work. <laughs> Tell us about your Dota cast then and your Dota comps. How did that happen? So the Dota, Dota was an interesting one as well because the, we just kind of looked at the the space in South Africa and we were like, which community has a big following but not not a lot of like support as far as events and that sort of stuff goes. We started off as a, in a safe space with CS, right? Because that's my home. That's okay. where I sort of grew up in, uh, and I knew that competitive environment and seen a lot better. So we started off in that vein because it was sort of a safe play. And then um, Dota was just a, it, it was just a, a natural like, oh, this was like the biggest esport in South Africa. We used to have, you know, Facebook groups of 15,000 people on them. And now it's nothing. It's become like almost a backwater sort of title in South Africa. So we looked at the, at the scene and realized it just needed a sort of reestablishment of leadership in the environment. And then um, Krim being a stalwart, you know, I, I, I think he's competed in Dota. His account's on 15,000 hours. It's just the best way I can sum that up. Just for Dota 2, never mind original Dota and stuff. So it was very close to both of our hearts, you know, as well. Uh, and that the community at, the, at this point in time has the most immortal level players in the EU that we've ever had. So we have the highest level of competitive Dota possible that this country's ever had and no way for the guys to compete within it. So it just made sense like this is the best avenue for us to both give back to community and then obviously get the best result we can for our suppliers. And are you thinking of branching out into other uh, other games and other comps hosting your own Definitely. servers like as T3? Definitely. Um, I want to do uh, some stuff. Uh, Velo is growing nicely in South Africa. I think League's on a big resurgence as well. I think League as well has done a lot globally right for me to get new players in. The new player acquisition seems to be going really well at the moment. Um, we still want to return to Apex. I want to do FIFA. I would look at Rocket League, but Dylan killed it. So <laughs> there's no problem. I'm, Dylan, I'm not coming for RLCS. Don't worry. There's no chance. Um, I'm going to try and tangle in. I'll probably do something smaller for Rocket League, you know, being, because it's such a big title. so much focus now in South Africa. You kind of have to look at it. But I think for our immediate future, the one, the two titles really that we we want to tap into, I'd say, are League and Valorant that we haven't done yet. 
And what do you think is our biggest disadvantage as a South African payment community? What do you think brings us down the most? Ice car! Mm. By far. By far right now, the most destructive thing in the environment is this farm. Um, it's invariably impossible for the TO as well as the player to plan with no scheduling whatsoever. You know, you go from zero to stage six in a weekend. Um, that's definitely the biggest disruption. Access has been really improved in South Africa with fiber. I think that solved a huge amount of our problems because we just had so many more people coming out of the woodwork to compete on a high level, so many more youngsters coming out of the woodwork to compete on a high level. You have guys like Soup and Dodo who's like 17 and he still places top three to top five, you know, kind of thing. Those guys would have never been online before. So I think, yeah, definitely just buy provision right now, if anything. Um, and a uh, better rand dollar so people can buy better graphics cards. Okay, next question. Top three games of all time. Top three games of all time. All time. Your top three of all time. Woo! Okay, so number one is Half Life 2. And simply because it were redefined like it's Steam. It's you know the gaming the biggest gaming platform in the world. It's Dota, it's CS, it's everything that came because of Source Engine. Um, and it's like one of the best survival horror shooters I think ever. In that vein as well, I absolutely love the Metro 2033 series. Um, I think that's definitely got to be up there. And then my third place and my current favorite pain simulator title is definitely, I would say, the third best. This is going to come <laughs> on the same page there, almost exactly the same game. It's just the mechanics, you know. We grew up with so many different games because we came out of the era when 3D was just starting. You know, Doom 95 and stuff was when we were like six, seven years old. So we've really experienced the shooter from its core for 20 years, you know, kind of thing, in, in, in different variances. So Tarkov just has that those mechanics, as you know even, with the modular damage system and stuff, that are just unrivaled. This is nothing like it right now. And have you tried the cycle or not? I would rather assault my genitals with a porcupine dipped in DPT. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and last question, the last one, that everyone wants to know. Wookie XXL Twitch win. Woo! Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> streaming. <laughs> streaming is an interesting one because I actually do see a long term for me becoming a streamer. But I think it'll be once I've done a bit more in the esports space, I really want to double down on our production stuff that we've done and, you know, uh, the events we've run and stuff have been really good. I want to, I, I, I don't want to focus on too many things at the same time. Already my content schedule while running a whole esports company is a bit extreme, okay? I work 70 hour a week to get everything done, realistically. So when I have more capacity, let me build a let me build a, the best esports company ever and then I'll go into stream. Okay. Well, Mr. Wookie, thank you so much. We'll thank let you get back to your, your e-tech standard at Rage. Thank you, Steve.